All right, so now you want to go to page K3. In the second half, and scroll down to. Um, one of these, get either of those and just go and download it. So then you open up two of these. And then you go to downloads or whatever you stored it and get it. And you double click on it. And then you drag it, drag it down to your other folder. So you practically just copy it. Alright, so that's that. So now what you want to do is that you want to get media from files and folders. <coughs> just go and take either of these that you'd like. And then double click on it. And then just go ahead and... Sorry. Alright, so it's back at the beginning. You want to go in until it disappears, and then set in. Wait until it disappears. And set out. Then exit out. Then go ahead and find the place that you would like to be. So right there. And right there. And then go ahead and just scroll up some. Let's just go right there. Edit. Effect. Show all. Keen. Chroma key apply and just go and edit effects. Um, get a bit more similar. And then we're just gonna go ahead and pick that part, move it up onto his head because that's where it's blowing up. And then go and just scroll back a little bit. See how that looks. That looks good enough. So then what you want to do is you want to get some sound effects. I get mine from soundj.com, soundbible.com, and soundfxnow.com. So you want to find some grenade sound effect. Let's just get it from here. So, grenade. It's good, so then you just go and download it and all that stuff. So then you're back in here. Organize, get media, file and folders, libraries, effects, sound effects, or wherever yours are. And just go and get your grenade explosion. And then it'll import itself. And I will move it back quite a bit. Make it quite a bit smaller. And then just go ahead and stretch it out to the end of the piece. There you are. So now you have your Lego movie and Adobe Premiere Elements. Thanks for watching and bye.